Hey guys, John Paperoni Technologies here today, removing gasket material. One of the biggest questions that we get with restorers or rebuilders in the world is can vapor honing remove gasket material? The answer is no. I mean, we struggle to remove gasket material because obviously we are a less aggressive form of dry blasting. Um, especially these very hard antique gaskets that you see on a lot of vintage motorcycle engines, um, the paper gaskets. If you can scrape or remove over 50% of this gasket, we can probably take the rest of it off. But if it's a complete full gasket, you're never gonna touch it. And a good example is this full complete gasket on the side here uh, where I guess the cam holder would go on this head. We had to actually peel and cut away half of the gasket to be able to clean this area. And of course we cleaned it very well after we got the gasket off, but you can see some of the overspray doesn't even touch this material. There's also another part here on the head, um, gasket which we could not remove in the vapor home, so we had to peel it away and take it off. RTV silicone sealant is the same. Vapor honing does not remove that sealant. Um, it's so rubbery and so squishy, it just moves. When the vapor hone hits it, everything just bounces off and, and it acts like nothing ever happened. Um, so you have to scrape or remove over 50% of those materials, and then you might have a shot at getting it off of the vapor hone. Most of the time, we've seen very good success with that, um, but you have to hit it with multiple angles um, to get the material off. A lot of people, I think, make a mistake of running in one specific direction as well when you're trying to remove stubborn soil or, or gasket material. You have to move at different angles. That's another key point. But it can remove gasket material if you get over 50%, but if it's a complete gasket, it will not touch it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that helpful tidbit today. If you have questions about your application, send them in, give the sales team a call or shoot them an email. They're always here and happy to help. And as always, follow us on our social media outlets, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and Twitter for daily and weekly updates. Again, thanks for watching.